Guys, Mac OS Sequoia is officially out. And in this video, I will show you some awesome features that it has come with. So for the first one, we want to go to Safari. And here in Safari, you can see that currently I am playing a video. I can actually create a video viewer for myself. So here you can see guys, a video is playing. And if I go on the left side of the search bar, I can click on it. And here you can see there's an option called video viewer. If I click on that and here you can see a layout has popped up the video itself has popped out of the screen somewhat and the layout is like the quick time player that we have over here in this way you can just separate out the video from the web page and view it without any distractions to exit this you can just click on the arrow over here and now you have exited the video uh, viewer speaking of distractions though we can now go to this website and here you can see there are multiple ads that are playing and I find this very distracting so how do I hide the ads without actually having to install any ad blockers? For that again, we want to go to the left side of the search bar. And in this menu, you can see hide distracting items. Just click on that. And here you can see items will uh, not be permanently removed. It is just to show you that it has been removed. Click on OK. And here you can see this is an ad. I can just click on it and uh, it has just disappeared. Again, if I just scroll down here, you can see if I find this distracting, I can just make it disappear. So you can hide ads and make them disappear according to your liking. So on the top, you can see four items have been hidden. I can click on done. But how do I make them come back? Because we had a pop up that said that this isn't a permanent solution. So if I want them to come back, I can just uh, click on this unhide icon and here you can see show hidden items i can click on show and all the ads and all the distracting uh, elements have now come back so this is how you can just uh, eradicate all the distracting items on your mac but now let's go to the notes app to go to the notes app it is probably uh, on your dock but if not you can just uh, click command plus space type in notes or you can also go through uh, the launch pad click on enter and here you can see we have now come to notes so as you can see i have typed out some stuff and let's just say i want my mac talk to be a heading so i can just select this and on the top here you can see we have choose style to apply to text click on that and let's just say i want to make it a title and as you can see it is now enlarged and now it is bold as well then we have awesome sequoia features so let's just say i want that to be a subtopic I can then go to the same menu and I can make it a subheading and now here you can see a small arrow has also appeared under which all of this uh, basically resides. So if I just collapse it here you can see it is easier to take notes you can just have topics uh, if you are taking notes in class and you can just find them very easily without having to scroll a lot. Other than that if I just say uh, there is a new math feature also. So for that I can uh, let's just say I type in 131 times 89 this is very random I can just uh, type in equals and here you can see the answer has appeared if I want it to be there I can just press enter and it has automatically filled in similarly I can do some other operation as well say 90 uh, divided by 3 equals 30 so I can just hit enter and it has automatically filled in so these are some new features that have come in the notes apps apart from this we can go to settings and then go to wallpaper in wallpaper as you can see we have dynamic wallpaper as with all the mac os uh, wallpapers we also have sequoia wallpapers if i click on that we have all the wallpapers that have come with the sequoia update here you can see Sequoia is currently on automatic. What does that mean? If I click on that, I can make it a light uh, themed wallpaper or a dark themed wallpaper. So let's just say I want to make it a dark themed wallpaper. And here you can see it has changed. If I go back to light, again here you can see it has changed back to a light theme. So guys, these are a few of my favorite updates that have come out with the Mac OS Sequoia. Hopefully you have found them interesting and helpful as well. If you have, please drop a like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.